Plus 3 XP. Plus 3 XP. We are playing Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive. On the Xbox One, of course. Can't play it anywhere else. Uh, I'm already uh, a little ways into the game here. And uh, on one, uh, one of the, I don't know, I don't even think I'm middle th of the game yet. Still pretty early on. Just kind of messing around right now. Um, I've but, only seen this game for five minutes prior to us starting this. This game is nuts. What is happening <laughs> even in this game? I don't understand. <laughs> it's it, This reminds me of like Goat Simulator if it had <laughs> humans in it. <laughs> it's a pretty accurate uh, description, I think. It, it's Speaking a, of Goat Simulator, we need to play that in this game. In this, in this game, on, yeah. <laughs> it's a fun. Uh, we, <laughs> we have to play this on this channel at some point. We should. Yeah, it's an MMO now, I think, actually. Yes, well, it's an option. You can still play single player, but oh, you okay. can do most massive. Why would you play single player if you can play an MMO? I don't if know. You if you can play don't... something as good as World of Warcraft, why would you play regular Warcraft? I guess you're That's right. a pretty controversial statement, by the way. All no, the gamers will be laughing like crazy over that one because they're totally different games. You know games. what? All this controversy around your gaming statements, I think we can rebrand Gamergate as <laughs> anger about your statements. <laughs> Forget everything else. Now it's all about Mike uh, yeah. and his Warcraft yeah. versus uh, World of Warcraft yeah. statements. That's fair. I yeah, think. I think yeah. so. I would agree. So, uh, Sunset Overdrive, Overdrive, right? Been out for a little while now. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't actually had a chance to play a lot. Oh, of you're it. on the ground. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the point is you don't want to be on the ground, but I'm trying to find this. Oh, okay. The Hapcat's uh, Diner, of course. Bounce up there. That's a cool, cool. word. Hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. That's my buddy. Wow, you're dressed strangely. He's a nerd, but he's a cool nerd, just like us at plus three XP. <laughs> I'm not cool a nerd. Nerds. All right. You're a nerd. Look how cool I am. You're super cool looking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. You kind of so... look like my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> and that's not a shot at all. He's no, super I actually cool do. Looking. He is very cool, actually. Uh, yeah, I do kind of look like him now that I think about it. Yeah. If he's watching, hey. it's the It's the dark hair, glasses, and beard combination. Right. Not so much the greenness and the rest of, like, Flip flops, come on, man. Yeah, flip flops. Yeah. If you're gonna be grinding on your feet, grind it. Flip flops are probably not the best sort of footwear to be wearing. Funny for enough, this. that's why I chose them for the comedy of the whole <laughs> for its situation. Impracticality. You can go bare feet, I think, which is oh uh, god. It would seem slivers painful. you would get, <laughs> or splinters, depending on where you are geographically. Uh huh. <laughs> what does that mean? Certain yeah. areas of the world call them sli I think in Canada we call them slivers, and in oh. the States they call them splinters. I say splinters. I had one okay. the other day. So, therefore, <laughs> you're wrong. Whatever. Well, then maybe it's the other way around, or maybe it's regional. I think I've said both. we're so close to the border, we tend to... Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> like 90% of Canada, we're pretty close to the border. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much everybody of in Of the Canada. States, not any other country. Mexico not France <laughs> we're not we're not in Newfoundland St. Pierre and Miquelon that's technically French soil is it yep for all you geography nerds out there <laughs> lots of them sure Canadian <laughs> geography nerds I think. yeah uh, yeah you got at least one in the this the North room. Atlantic nerds <laughs> whatever okay let's move on <laughs> anyway moving on to <laughs> less versus splinter less it's... lame things yeah like this super cool dude <laughs> Where the hell am I trying to go here? I don't know. I'm just racking sweet combos up here. I'm not even really that. trying either. God. I neither. I'm surprised this. Not even trying, guys. I can just rack up combos all day. I'm surprised they haven't been You're hired like Adrian by the Peterson video game. minus the <laughs> discipline of children. <laughs> uh, I thought you were gonna say of uh, becoming a top athlete. Oh but no. No. No, I went with the thing he's in the news for. Right, right. Well, it's topical. That's right. Like yeah. my ointments. It's like all of our, <laughs> all of our giants. <laughs> uh, Pretty proud of that one. That was a really good joke. Yeah, thank you. Whoa, I really jumped high. You sure did. 
because you <laughs> believed in yourself. So, okay, what are these orange things, and why are they attacking you? The orange things are... Let's try and um, be actual um, let's players. Right. So, um, energy drinks are a bad thing in this game. Uh, because well, they turn people into some sort of zombie-like guys. Right. Right that, now I'm fighting... That explode into paint when you kill them? Well, in this case, these are actually, uh... Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, these are actually, like, bandits or something like that. Mm. Are they of the wet or sticky variety? <laughs> Neither, I believe. Neither? Okay, so we don't have to worry uh, about killing Daniel Stern and or Joe no, Pesci? No, even though they would be dead if they were actually That's in that true. movie. That's true. Have you watched that one video on the internet? You ever seen the internet? <laughs> have I ever? <laughs> you ever have, seen the internet before, uh, Joe? Yes, I have. Yeah, it's pretty what, cool. Huh? Okay, what a video are you talking about, though? There's one, I don't know, it's some website, like a good website, film sort of website, that <laughs> they tally up all the times that they oh. got injured. Yes, I have seen that. it's like an insane amount, and they would have definitely died. Yeah, well... Like, multiple times in the movie. Which one is Daniel Stern? Is he Marv? Uh, yes, he's Marv. Uh, Marv, every uh, brick that hits him yeah. in the head <laughs> should kill him. Yes. He's getting hit with a brick <laughs> in the forehead extreme. from a third... <laughs> from the roof of a three-story house. <laughs> like... He's d dead like instantly. Severe brain damage oh if he is still alive somehow. That movie is so funny. I know. Both that scene them. kills me. It was on. You, well, usually it's on Christmas time, yes, right? Yes. Every Which Christmas, now, our, our, my sisters and I watch yeah, Home Alone 2. Yeah. And it's Home Alone 1 sometimes, but Home Alone 2 is our favorite. That's the money one. Which is another controversial statement. A lot of people are pro, uh, pro 1. No. The, first, the second one, I agree because that brick scene is so friggin' hilarious. Yes. And. That, when he is in the basement and grabs the sink, which is hooked up to the generator, and that. turns into a skeleton when he's screaming. <laughs> oh my god, that gets me Isn't every it time. like a crazy, terrifying scream, too? Yeah, the like, super like, high really... pitched. It just keeps getting higher <laughs> like, and higher pitched. Like, it's really kind of not funny, almost. <laughs> Like it's, it's more sad actually than anything. Sort of terrifying in a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah, that's um, because that's a John Hughes movie, and John Hughes does that. Yeah, he does that uh -huh. in a lot of films where like there's a in in some sort of you know traumatic experience, some character changes its appearance, like in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, when they're getting in the car accident and Steve Martin looks over and John Candy is dressed up as the devil, <laughs> because that's how he sees him in that moment. Oh. Yeah, that's he, he's done that in a couple huh. different movies, which is, and it's hilarious in every single one. <laughs> <sighs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that if you haven't seen that video, I think all we do in this... Our, uh, our videos is recommend other videos. Yeah. But, um, Why are you watching this? Yeah. You could be looking at so many other things. Way better than what we're doing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty neat. It just lists all the times they would have... What I think it's... They, they, they talk to a doctor, and he tells them what would have happened in each situation. Right. So, pretty fun. Yeah. All right, so anyway, I got to do something important here. You got to blow up this train. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. We it's have like, to... Like speed, but... Remember when we first started this channel and we got some recommendations about what to do and we were told you should talk more about the game <laughs> and not so much about it's everything else been that's about not happening. eight minutes and I don't think we've actually mentioned much about this Yeah, one. well, I tried to get us on track and then immediately jumped onto Home Alone 2. <laughs> so, if on you're track? here for you commentary... trying to what? Get us on track? Oh, man. That's pretty good, Joe. That's so good. I, you know, I don't even think about it anymore. It just happens. It's just gold <laughs> comes out of my mouth. Uh, so, yeah, we Call are... me Ron Paul because I'm bringing back the gold standard. <laughs> Joe can't help it. He's just always making puns and so yep. forth. Uh, yeah, so... Pun is an acronym for play on words. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. Yeah, it not a lot of people sense, know though. that. Yeah, I can see that making <laughs> some sort of sense. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so Sunset Overdrive, quite a good game. I I, I haven't really been like, super it. into it yet. The way this looks, but I really like it. It's like now that I've been playing it a little bit. It's uh, it reminds me of uh, um, oh boy, wow, oh. really 
really talked myself into a corner here. What's uh, Mirror's Jet Edge? Jet Set Overdrive? Oh, yeah. yeah or just Jet it, Like in the radio. jumping around and everything. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of Mirror's Edge. Not so much. Mirror's Edge is much more muted in terms of color. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah. It's like, this is like some, like a weird, like, Tony Hawk, Mirror's Edge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's like, pretty much the vibe they were kind of going uh, for. Yeah. Like a Saints Row kind of thing. Like mm-hmm. this, yeah. It's yeah, neat. it is. Ma- kids love mashups, cool. and let kids me tell you, kids love this kind of stuff. This is this is a mashup of the nth degree. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a sentence that made a lot of sense. Girl talk would be all over this. Yeah, for all the mashing going on here. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's pre- it's pretty you neat. You sent me the link to his Coachella set. Mm. Oh yeah, Did so you watch good. It? I, I know did. it's really well, good. I listened right? to it because it was audio. I mean, technically, it. I guess I watched the waveform. Take some drugs and then watch the music. Yeah. Though. Hey, we did it. I, oh, I didn't really save her. Um, ooh, she... was there just a reference to Brill Cream? Oh, right. Yeah, that's the guy's name. Brill a cream. guy's name is Brill Cream. Yeah, it's a crazy future, Joe. He's named after yes an old man's Hair way product. of. Oh my god. <laughs> This game is just wacky. It's off the wall. And uh, you can't predict it. You can't? No. If you, right. know, you can predict it, look how crazy my guy is. Look at that guy with beautiful green eyes. He's pretty beautiful. Cool beard. Yeah. And he neat some sort glasses. Of future stewardess. What? The girl looks like a oh, future stewardess. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Like uh, a she's stewardess in the future. Supposed not, to be a... Not as in that's her career aspiration. Right. All right, um, stop running. We're done. Okay, we're <laughs> the done. Episode's done. So just uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Plus three XP, Sunset Overdrive. We got five of five toilet papers. <laughs> so I mean, it's always a good amount to have. Yeah, you don't want mm-hmm. less than that. Mm-mm. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.